Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, I'm going to be showing you my art book. So in this book, it includes my art and my photography work. So I thought I'd show you this as I do actually have to hand this in in a few days. I've had my marks back and I can confirm that I've got a merit in art and I got a distinction in photography, which I'm really, really proud of. So I'm going to be showing you my work for what I've been doing. Um, this is college work. As you can see, I'm doing um, level one art and design. So that's the course and I'll show you what's inside my book. So to start with, as you can see, this is a colour wheel. This has got the, the primary and secondary colours in here. So our project was just to kind of do the colour wheel really and that's just kind of, you know, simple really. <laughs> So this page here, as you can see, I've got harmonious colours. So these are the colours that are either opposite or next to each other on the colour wheel. And then here I've just got a random picture of like a conquer drawing, which I actually really like. Um, so I just, we had like this conquer in front of us and we just kind of drew it from the life. Um, so yeah, I, really, I kind of like that actually, I really like that. Um, and then again, we've done it on brown paper. So this bit we've just kind of painted and I think it's like acrylic or something so we then just painted it from there and I've done like bits of shadows and stuff as you can see here so they were just our conquer drawings turning over the page we now have like life drawings so as I said from my conquer drawings we now have jars I don't like this one as much because I can as you can tell I haven't done the like perspective I haven't done it going straight through so obviously you don't see the paintbrush and it doesn't look like that so I don't like this drawing but I can now learn from my mistakes and that's what you do in art you learn from your own mistakes and you try different methods of drawing and painting or whatever else you're doing with the media so that's what I don't like about it and I'm obviously gonna practice on this um but I do like this leaf drawing again this isn't like a flat this isn't like a normal drawing this is more flat so it's kind of here and then I've kind of drawn how I think it would look and it's got like scrumpled edges and lines and like where the veins would be so I like this and then we just put it on a yellow background and I think this looks really nice in my book and I'm really proud of most of this obviously there's things like this that I don't like as much but you know that's art and that's how you learn we did some mark making so I've done like continuous lines broken ragged uh, dots, lines and dots, continuous again, cross hatching and light dark diagonal and I've got to do a few more but this is pretty standard. I like this, I kind of I like this page, it's simple, it's easy and it's just to know your mark making techniques in art. Again I've done some more jars, I really like this page. Um, this is my first time drawing this type of thing so I had a really good go at it and you can see now here where I've done more kind of 3D looking or at least through the pot. Um, this is here where I've done a bit of shading as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then I've also got a bit of shading here as well. So again I like this and this is called Ellipse. Um, yeah. <laughs> So this one we were drawing um, leaves onto like a newspaper background. So this was our leaf and newspaper montage. This is the start of our project and again like we were very aware of what we're doing. So we were kind of just testing out different types of media and um, just kind of materials that we were using. So we decided to use newspaper and I've just done a really ragged kind of leaves. In this kind of like few pages we did do a lot of leaf work. Um, so again, as you can see here, I've got my second, this is a secondary image, so it comes from like the internet. So primary source would be something that you've gone and found yourself. Um, so this is from the internet that I copied. And I like this, even though this bit here went a bit wrong, it's okay because it's it's art. Um, so then I just colour it, coloured it in like the orange back, not orange, brown background. And then um, just kind of went over it with red and orange and, and green <laughs> so this is one of my favorite paint pages i do really like this actually um so we did actually just do a page i don't know if you can see that very well um but we've just kind of done a face on a newspaper broken up background as you can tell we do like our backgrounds with newspaper 
but our teachers told us to do a one colour really if we can background and I found it really hard so obviously you can see this is like the M&S background because it's got the Percy Pig in the background um, but I just tried to stick to the pink theme and it kind of went okay so this is one of my favourite drawings and then we got told to do like a face of some sort of whatever we wanted to do not necessarily a, like a portrait of like you or a friend but just anyone so I just did this um, here and we did charcoal drawings and I really like doing this so that's what I've done here and then here we've done a wildlife mind map I don't know if you guys can see that very well it's not very straight um, but I've done a mind map and this is just a nature mind map so like flowers um, domestic animals and that sort of thing and night creatures, sea creatures, landscape, insects and that sort of thing, zoo animals so that's what we did for that and it was just really simple just to kind of you know come to grip of what different ty types of nature we have or wildlife shall I say so that was really good then this is a page that I don't like really much our task was to go out onto the college grounds and go and take um, sketches of things around from the college so we were asked to do pictures of like animals if we could or trees so this was my representation of a squirrel yes I know it's very very tragic um, I don't like it whatsoever this is supposed to be a table but again I'm not very good at 3D drawings um, so I gave up with this one really and this is a, cheat, a tree stump I don't hate it as much, but I just think I could do a lot better than that. Um, and then I've got some more trees here, and then I've got another tree with a bird box here. I like this one, actually. It's probably one of my favourite ones. Um, but yeah. And then here, we've done some more eye drawings. So we got given a page of drawings from the internet, and our teacher told us to like just kind of interpret our own ones taking inspiration from the two different eyes that we chose to do and then write a little bit about them so as you can see these pages here are very simple these were our designs for um some poly press prints that we were going to do in lesson so i'm obviously not very good at doing this whatsoever um but this is supposed to be like a pebble beach with like obviously the sea line and then a slight kind of horizon on the sea um, and then this one I've done like a flower with possibly even like a sunflower with all the like seeds inside and then kind of thin long leaves and then these are just our two patterns on A6 um, and then we kind of put them onto here so this is what my sunflower turned out to be as you can see I do prefer this one but this one kind of more makes sense because it's like a yellow sunset background with like a slight bit of blue um, as the sky or you know the sea kind of reflection so this would make sense um, but I do kind of prefer this one I mean this came out more because you can see more of the kind of petals as I call them really um, but I do prefer the colours on this one then as you can see I've done another one of the flowers and then I've done some seaside ones with the sunset and then some birds that kind of look like ticks really but yeah I've done that here and I've done some like little waves and then there's some pedal not pedals some pebbles here too and then I've done another one here as well so I try to we tried each print at least twice but obviously this print I've done three times because I thought I'd try it with a different colour and that's how that went. So these are our poly press designs. I was going to do another one but I didn't have time for that so I've just done, what was it, five. So yeah. But these were our other designs that we were just drawing. I think this was like our um, Africa one. I've just wrote that annotation Africa. Um, but this is just a design that I got from a photographer not photographer, artist. I can't remember which one. I'll put it on the screen here somewhere if I remember. I know which one of the two, but I can't remember which one of the two it was. Um, but we were studying two of the um, artists that we were doing. They were like, lino, like they produced line, lino designs. Um, so we did, like, I took inspiration from that one. I really like how this turned out. And then I also did this, what is it, Toucan? Um, so I really like this toucan drawing. That's really nice. I think that's really quite neat actually. I quite like it. 
and um, I also did some ostrich which I found on the internet so I like those as well they're just in black and white so here are the original um, lino prints not lino poly press prints that we did so obviously there's the original um, one where it's got the black ink still on it and then this one all the ink came off so you can just feel like it was really rough it was very delicate so I had to be really careful not to break it all um, which was very sad <laughs> So then our next um, one was African and Asian nature. Um, again, I've put annotation there, but I didn't get around to doing that. But I've done a um, sort of like a desert kind of beach. I, I think this was actually in Dubai I got this from. And then here I've just done a Af um, African, like I've done like a lion reflection in the water it's gone a bit smudgy at the moment but it's okay it's fine <laughs> but that's what the african elephant looks like i really like this actually so that was one of my favorite drawings i've done in my book and i i'm really proud of that actually i've never really done drawings like that before for my final piece i did a flamingo with a tree and then the sky and then i've put some black kind of card around it to make it look like an actual photo so this is my final my final piece that I did, oh what is going on, <laughs> so that's my final piece that I got done. So following those, following that print, I then did a negative print of the flamingos on a like different colour. Um, so I printed it in a different colour and it came out black in the background and then the trees obviously came out blue and pink and the sky came out red which I found really interesting and then the flamingos came out green so I printed these and I stuck it in my page and it's really interesting to see how printers like come out with different colours and that so that's what this one looks like and then this one I don't really like as much it looks like a simple kind of drawing but just kind of a bit worse really um so that didn't come out as well on the printer but it doesn't matter because it's just about experimenting and for my lino printmaking technique we did a list of the things so my teacher printed out like these and we had to fill in the words really so we did like little like border for it so i drew some spoons and the tools for the lino and some more spoons and a pencil and then the roll the roller that we used and then that's the end of my art projects i'm now going to go on to my photography so for my first photography um kind of project we were doing nature photographers research so we had to go away and research some photographers that we were giving a list of and we had to choose our favorite two and then write about them and get two images for each so i researched ansel adams and david dublet and um we had to do five photographers as i said so those two and then david muench um art wolf and i don't know how you say these ones but gallant you can read it there anyway um oh dear so those are ones that i did and then there's the images and i just wrote about them so again i've obviously wrote about composition black and white i've done that it brings attention to it um spontaneous shots it looks like a spirit that's just come out the water um and i've done this one as well so the colors are contrasting very bright it's very kind of like cold colors as well um and then you've got like main focuses and then the little fish in the background and then here i've obviously done like colorful vibrant and it expresses the fish's habitat um, and that sort of thing. So you just write about that. And this one is obviously our log book. We have to do log books and keep a kind of log of what we were doing. So we got asked questions and then we had to write it up in full. Um, so that's what we were doing here. And that links to this one, I believe. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Turning over the page, we've got nature research sheet task two. Um, so we re researched our favourite one out of the two that we did here and I decided to do David and he's a well-known underwater photographer primarily for his work published in the National Geographic magazine. Um, he was just 12 and he's now 70 um, so I found that really interesting. I researched some of his work and I found it really really interesting. And I also researched the cameras that he was doing as that was the 
um, extension task so I really wanted to get that um, you know distinction which I eventually got and I'm so proud of myself for doing that so I got information on what cameras he used and that sort of thing and his main focus is in his photography and obviously he specializes in underwater photography so I found that really interesting um, and then on here we had to do about the rule of thirds so the rule of thirds is basically a grid which is used to help take in photographs, um, artwork, paintings and many more types of media. Um, the rule of thirds is a guideline which applies to the process of composing visual images such as designs and films, paintings and photographs. The uh, horizon sits at the horizontal line dividing the lower third of the photo from the upper two thirds. So the grid is split in nine equal squares so it's kind of more eye catching for the reader, not the reader, the kind of person that's looking at the photo um, sees that the boat here is in the kind of middle third square to the right so it makes it more appealing and you can see the bottle here is not in the slight middle um, not in the central middle shall I say um, it's more kind of to the right so it makes it more appealing um, and then these are my own photography that I did around the college um, I got some spiders webs I got we also did some like long shot, medium shot, close up, extreme close up and Dutch angle. Um, so I wrote about these just a little bit and yeah. <laughs> I then researched Angie Lewin and she's a British printmaker working in lino cut, wood engraving, lithography and screen printing. She was born in Cheshire and she's 55 and um, these are some of her work here I don't know if you can see that actually sorry about that um, and then we also did Rachel Newling as well um, she's an Australian artist specializing in hand colored and reduce reduction oh sorry and reduction lino cuts mixed media engravings and drawings um, so these are some of her work and again I wrote about these as well here um, so I took inspiration as you can tell from um, earlier I said about copying like these two so I tried that out and I really liked doing it so that was that one um, so that's obviously the print that I was talking about just now so this one goes with this here <clears throat> here this one is called simplicity in photography so it's taking shots from above and we did conkers so I focused on like light um, the printing didn't come out very well and there's a lot of shadow as you can see sometimes you can see my phone um, but I tried to kind of ignore that and just you know focus on what I was photographing so that was just kind of like a yeah a practice really <clears throat> again I've got some more um, log books that we did and I got a merit for all of these as well so I was really happy with that So this was my final piece, this is what I took um, a few months ago before handing it in and I really really like this photograph, um, I believe I took this in Tunbridge Wells and um, yeah I really like it, I found a tree, I focused on it and I saw this really nice um, acorn and I focused on the whole image itself. Um, obviously realising about the rule of thirds and it's not slap bang in the middle it's slightly tilted to the right um, and I find it really interesting to look at really even though it's kind of a dark background with dark colours um, there's not really a lot going on but yet you've still got this massive common image here and it does bring attention straight to the acorn um, and it was very hard to choose a final piece because there were so many that I liked so these are my contact sheet, so if you don't know what a contact sheet, it's just a mix of obviously pictures that is just set out like this which says the image number and that sort of thing. So these were the ones that have got ticks next to them I was going to use for a final piece um, but I just found that I was going to use this one so that's the one that I used and obviously this one as well um, which I really really like as well. Again, in um, in college, we did some more taking photographs, so I took these as well. Um, obviously, if we just ignore those four, that wasn't really part of it, but 
um, I did do these as well. So we did some nature, uh, we did some leaves, for, sorry. So I did some leaf shots from above. So obviously you can see my feet and then the leaves here and I did some really close ups. I did some like dandelions and trees and that sort of thing and bushes. Um, and yeah, and I wrote a lot about that as well. And then I did also, you can't really see it on this photo very much, but I did actually get my water bottle and put some water on the plant so then I could just take a picture of it from up, from like up close. And then I just wrote about the rest of them here, talking about each photograph in detail. Um, these are my four favourite photos that I did. And I just analysed them, talked about every one. And then obviously I've got this one here that I really like. These are all my own photos, by the way. So um, again, I love this one. I took this not that long ago, actually. So you can see you've got the... Like the water droplets on them. I like this page, I really like it. I like how it's laid out and all the writing. So I talked about my camera, um, just how I took it, where I took it, and that sort of thing. And then this was my final piece. I changed my mind from the acorn and went to this one. I found it had a lot more to talk about and it had a lot more kind of going for it. I knew that it was gonna get maybe some more marks with the rainbow in here. And then I could talk about obviously this being to the left of the page, not slap bang in the middle. And I just knew that it was going to be a lot better. So that's what I did. And I focused mainly on the rainbow and I talked about all the water. And um, yeah, so that was my final piece. And then obviously I wrote about it as well here. So I did do a lot writing. I did enjoy my writing. <laughs> yeah, these were the Angie Lewin inspiration. So again, these are from my Lino prints and I decided to copy one of her prints and just do my own. And I've done it in a blue and green background. Again, I really like this and I like how I've really, really carefully, actually, if I do say so myself, <laughs> got the um, designs in the middle here without it kind of breaking, if you know what I mean. So I've got this here, I really like how this came out. I've got a plain kind of page here because I don't really have anything else much to put here. Um, but then going back to my photography. So this here was our last pages that we did before we broke up from Christmas. And we did um, Africa and Asian nature. So here we've got like the African um, elephants and the nature and the tribes and that sort of thing and all like you can just tell it's just Africa really it's just really beautiful and just really interesting to look at I really like this image here of the um of the giraffes here um and it looks like probably the Sahara Desert as well and then here we've got the Asian um the Asian nature so it looks like we've tried we've got some um air balloons we've got like a beach here with a hammock on and we've got Dubai here and we've also got some more Dubai, we've got the um, desert, I can't remember the name of the desert, I've been to Dubai so I should know that, um, but we've got the deserts and we've got uh, the buildings, they're really beautiful buildings as well, the apartments, um, so that was the last thing that we did, and yeah, that's the end of my sketchbook. So I really hope you guys enjoyed looking at through my sketchbook, um, maybe it gave you an insight as to what you might be doing if you're doing art and design level one, um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and let me know that you did. And comment down below your what your favourite part of this book was. Was it art or photography? Or tell me, do you prefer art or photography? And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>